What is the deficit and what is the debt and why does it matter? The deficit is falling this year. Getting the deficit down. Budget deficit. Don't deal with the deficit. Running an enormous deficit. Tackle the debt and the deficit left behind by the last Labour government. You're going to hear a lot in this election about the debt and the deficit. Even some politicians can't get their heads around the big numbers involved. An equivalent number for the Conservatives, have you? Well, we do. We do have a, a, a number. Uh, what is it then? Well, I've, as I've said, we're spending 150 billion uh, more in infrastructure. We're going to spend a lot more uh, money on, but that's not on the, the total, police. That's not the total. I'm not going to bandy around uh, figures. Right. The deficit is when the government spends more than it collects in taxes in a year. So it's a bit like an overdraft, and at the end of the year, the government has to turn it into a long-term loan. All parties agree you shouldn't run day-to-day -day services on an overdraft. You need to pay for them with taxes. Labour says tax the rich, property speculators, companies, to pay for hospitals, schools, and local council services. The Tories, well, they represent the rich and the property speculators. So over the last decade, they've cut public spending by £41 billion in real terms. Please leave my town. I will very soon. Everybody agrees now we need to spend more on GPs, on hospitals, on council services. But these cost money. Labour wants to raise that money through tax. The Tories, well, they won't say where any of the money they're promising comes from. And yet you can't tell me what the equivalent well, number is for the Conservatives. We, we, we had a budget last year which set the, the Parliament, so all those figures... Yeah, but public. we're interested about the next Parliament, aren't we? The election no, no, is happening. So, what, so, what, so what are the plans the for the next five years? Spent, uh, in the last year, we had, a, we had a, a, a budget. Fiscal Phil says fiscal rules OK. <laughs> but what about the debt? Labour is promising to borrow £400 billion over the next 10 years to build new homes, hospitals, rail and green energy systems. That's more like a mortgage than an overdraft. And this is how it'll work. The government will spend an extra 25 billion a year on wind farms, home insulation, eco-friendly transport systems. And on top of that, for the first five years, 30 billion a year to invest in schools, hospitals, and new council homes. Now that is a massive amount. It's double what the Tories plan to spend. But to most families, a mortgage is also a massive amount. And at the end of it, you have a house. People ask, rightly, how are we going to pay it back? The answer is, it'll take a long time, like a mortgage. The way you shrink the debt is to grow the economy over time. But what matters in the short term is the interest rate. And it's here that this country has a golden opportunity. It's never been cheaper for governments to borrow. In fact, interest rates on government debt are so low that central banks, like the Bank of England, are urging governments to borrow and spend even more. If we borrow money now on the cheap, we can create tens of thousands of decent jobs, renovate our country, and in the process, stop climate change. If you're still confused, hit the comments button. All the figures we use are checked and from official sources, and we'll be making a few of these videos. So in the next one, I'll be asking, if the rich can move their money to the Bahamas, how do we get them to pay more tax?